Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very interesting problem. This problem is interesting for many reasons. And one of them is it kind of mixes up the exponential with the linear. But at the same time, it is interesting because we have the parameters a and b. So we're going to be solving this equation uh, as a general case and come up with a formula that could be applied to very many situations. Okay, so we're going to come up with something that looks like a formula and let's see how we can do that. So we do have a to the power x which is an exponential and then obviously a should be different from 0 or 1 or negative 1 and most of the time we want a to be actually positive and different from 1 so that kind of puts us uh, into two intervals between 0 and 1 or greater than 1. And depending on the value of a, you get an increasing function or a decreasing function. You're hopefully familiar with exponential equations such as e to the power x where the graph is increasing because e is greater than 1. Make sense? And if, if we have a base that is less than 1 and greater than 0, of course, then our function is just going to be decreasing. All right, and then we're adding a b to it. Obviously, b does not have to be a positive here, right? And we're getting x. So let's see how we can handle this problem in the general case because this is actually going to help you solve a lot of problems where you can replace a and b with numbers, okay? Such as if a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 5, this just becomes 3 to the power x plus 5 equals x, or you can write it as 3 to the x equals x minus 5. Obviously, you can regard this as the intersection point of these two curves. Did I say curves? Well, I guess one of them is a linear function, right? Anyways, let's see how we can handle this for the general case. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this in a very nice form so that we can apply a special type of function. And I'm going to show you results from Wolfram Alpha. Okay, ready? Let's get started. So we're going to subtract b from both sides first. So the first step is isolating the exponential part. And then we want something that is multiplied by the exponential, hopefully something like x. So it would be nice if I had x minus b times a to the power x. Def that's definitely would be... That would be an ideal situation, but don't worry, the exponent can be negative. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring those two together by using negative exponents. In other words, let's multiply both sides by a to the power negative x. And when you do that, what happens? Let's see. Multiply by a to the power negative x and multiply by a to the power negative x. This becomes a to the power 0 and you hopefully know that this can be written as 1 over a to the x and then these two cancel out leaving us with 1 which is the same thing as a to the power 0 as long as a does not equal 0, right? And we already talked about it. So now we get the following x minus b multiplied by a to the power negative x equals 1. Awesome. We wanted to bring the x and the exponential together, and we did. The next step is going to be kind of making the exponent look like this piece here. Because in order for us to be able to apply the special formula, the secret sauce, we do need them to be equal. Okay, and now we're going to do a little bit of exponential stuff and use the natural log, so on and so forth. Anyways, let's see how this proceeds. I do have a negative x. And I actually want to get x minus b, but it's a negative x. So instead of x minus b, I'm going to get negative x plus b. Do you see what I'm trying to do? Because an x, negative x plus b is the opposite of x minus b. And I can achieve that if I multiply both sides. So let me rewrite this. If I multiply both sides by a to the power b, then I'm getting what I need. Here we go. x minus b times a to the power now we're going to add the exponents here, though, so that's going to become negative x plus b. And of course the right hand side is just going to be a to the power b. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So far so good. I hope you're following. Now the next step is going to be change this negative x plus b or the x minus b because we want them to be the same. But wait a minute. If I change the exponent, then I have to kind of invert it, but I don't want to do it. Don't worry. This is easy to change. Just multiply by negative 1 
and you're going to get it. So we're going to multiply next by negative 1. That's going to give us the opposite of x minus b, which is negative x plus b. And then times a to the power negative x plus b. You see what I'm talking about? Negative x plus b, negative x plus b. Great. And then, of course, on the right-hand side, I have negative a to the power b. Okay. Next step. We do want to change the base. You want to have e, which is Euler's number. Some people claim that it's not Euler's number. Whose number is it? I mean, is there another person that can claim it? Anyways, let's go ahead and do the following. I can write a as e to the power ln a. And if I raise both sides to the power negative x plus b, this just becomes e to the power ln a times negative x plus b. Do you see what I'm talking about? That's what I'm going to do next. So let me erase this and then write it down here. So now we're getting negative x plus b, that's going to stay the same, times e to the power ln a, remember this makes a, and then just multiply it by the other exponent, negative x plus b, and of course at this step I didn't do anything new, so negative a to the b is going to stay the same. So far so good, I'm hoping. And the next step is going to be one more thing we need to do. Notice that here the exponent changed because I had to turn it into an e base. But I don't have the ln a here. That's easy. Just multiply both sides by ln a and you're going to be good. Awesome. Now here's what we have. We have ln a times negative x plus b times e to the power ln a times negative x plus b. In other words, if I call this whole thing t, I have t e to the t. Awesome. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to apply Lambert's w function. And when you, when this Lambert's w function acts on t to the t, it's going to produce t from it. In other words, it's the inverse function for t to the t. Make sense? Great. So here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to Lambert both sides and our product or the, what is it called? The outcome is going to be t, but t is ln a times negative x plus b. And on the right hand side, of course, I have to apply Lambert's w function here and here. I'm going to be getting Lambert of negative a to the b times ln a. Obviously, our goal is to solve for x and we kind of did a lot of things to x. Now we have to undo them, right? Kind of unleash everything. First step, we're going to divide both sides by ln a, divide by ln a and divide by ln a. ln a is going to cancel out. So we got negative x plus b equals this. Lambert negative a to the b ln a divided by ln a. And next we're going to subtract b from both sides and that's going to give us negative x equals Lambert negative a to the b times ln a divided by ln a minus b. And finally, since I want to get the value of x, I'm going to negate both sides, multiply both sides by negative 1. That's going to make this a positive b so I can write that first and then minus Lambert w of negative a to the b times ln a divided by ln a. Again, our original function or the equation was a to the x plus b equals x, and this is how you can solve it in general. Now, if you wanted to apply it to certain situations, like you want to replace a and b with numbers, go ahead and do so, and you're going to get the answer. All right, let's go ahead and check what Wolfram Alpha is supposed to offer, and then we'll finish up. And Wolfram Alpha says the same thing, except it just calls ln log. Unfortunately. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.